Again. Again. Again, again. Remember last time we saw take two? We did another take two because I don't turn the sound on. This is three. So, time just. Okay. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, together we, we are the M Artist Studio. Welcome, welcome to the Makers of Mixed Media Artists. Well, wait, this is the, well, this is the Makers Collab. Makers Creative Collab. So this was yeah. happens when we do things late in the day because I didn't yeah. turn the sound off. <laughs> this collab <clears throat> is all about objects otherwise considered trash. That is objects otherwise that's o o c t use that hashtag yeah you do that it's been, it's been very tricky so if you are not a youtuber and you are saying what is this collab business please do come over see us in the makers of mixed media artists and art art and artists facebook group that information is down below along with all of the other links to the other channels that are involved in the <laughs> if you're interested in that, do reach out to me, and then in 2023, we'll be doing this some more, but in a little bit different way, so stay tuned for that. Now, here is my trash. Yes. This is a to toilet paper tube. Yeah. Very handy dandy little thing. Let me tell you why. Oh, I didn't grab the other box. I'll grab that up here. So... In this little lovely book that I created, oh, well over a year ago, in fact, our, our good friend Peg, who, you know, was kind of the one who was always using, um, she's big on the kitchen towels and toilet paper rolls, but we did a collab together, and her item that she chose for it was the toilet paper roll. I chose wax. But in this little book, I'll go ahead and show you that bit, but there's lots of little things considered trash. Lovely things all of, in here. All of this stuff on the front here. Blotter paper. Most people probably kind of chuck it. And I just created a little collage business with it. See all that? Wish you guys could feel it. Yeah, feels really cool. it does. It feels really neat. And you should add that it's been put on with a glue stick so it maintains its No, texture. this was not. This was not. This oh. one's rough. Now there is a, I did put a few little pieces at the end. Oops, sorry, I'll hold that up there. Now those you can kind of still feel. So that's kind of one of those things that like when you're putting those napkins and things on, if you want it to continue feeling fluffy, glue stick, that's the way to do that. Uh, this right here, this little tag business, that is the inside of a chicken stock container. They emboss quite nicely. And also ink. That's we no longer have our ink. We sent that off to Sharon. That's texture junkie. So. Absolutely, and she does a marvelous yeah, job with does. it. Much better than we see. Do. More of that there. Love it. Love it. And the inside of the containers work really well because there's kind of a plasticky coating to them, and the inks. It, it, it does a really interesting thing. It's it's different than when you do it like on aluminum foil, but this little page oh, one more back there we go this little page right here see this little flippy down pocket that also has a magnet back there oh this also has some like packaging so you keep that stuff that's like you know when you move it's fun stuff it's what you wrap the dishes you in always keep that keep that just because next and it time you move it comes in nice. really pretty colors kind of yeah like sea foamy but see that little pocket there? That was created from a toilet paper tube. And those scrolls, in fact, actually, <laughs> that was really quick, wasn't it? These lovely little things, I like this one because this one shows up on people like teal. Ooh, and we'll show them here. There's that one. Did a whole, you know, lots of scrolls on a roll. I think, did I do the faces? Did I do the people? You did the, yeah, you're always the person that does the stencil, pretty much, yes. Actually, you did all the stencil. And Even I think the, that's done with the um, glass. He's pretty rough, yeah. The really heavy-duty mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. This is our spooky scrolls that we did last year. That was part of a collab. Let's see. Toilet paper roll. 
in that clapper. And then all I do is, um, I just, Pete gave me off cuts of, of uh, gel prints. You see inside? And then you just uh, cut those. And I like tearing the edges because they are a little bit easier to get like in there and then piece together. Um, obviously it's ideal if you can kind of do it in one piece versus piecing it. But then I feel like there's a little magnet right there. There's a magnet on the end of the thing. Snap that. Scroll on a roll. <laughs> and if you're real good about it, you can then line up the other one and there's a magnet there. So three magnets and then it all connects and then that way they stay together if you want. Or whoop, <laughs> lost the roll. Yep. Rolls on a roll. <laughs> Rolls on a roll. So that is pretty much it. Um, Stay tuned. I can. Um, I will put the links to these other projects below everybody else. Make it through the collab. Come back. Um, we'd love it if you would watch, you know, some of these videos on how to make it because I think there are process videos for lots of these things. But I will make sure that that information is down below. All of the other links. Be sure to hang out with everybody else. Watch their videos. Comment. Do all of that business. It really helps us. And I will then go ahead and put right here, right here in this area. Boop, boop. Be sure to click on that video because that's the next person in the collab. And Bentley says bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.